Okay, now we have to take this floating platform. Head up here, and we have a big castle here. I think, yeah, right over here is a very easy to grab Spectre coin. So that's quite nice. Um, and I think what we're going to do is yeah, head all the way over to the right side here. And we're going to go ahead and enter these doors. And we have a pot. I can't. Okay, yeah, there is a pot. Like, the camera sometimes just doesn't angle down when it should and doesn't angle up when it should. And that makes it very tricky to, like, see, is it safe for me to walk there? But that monkey just pressed a button that's gonna make things a bit more difficult on us. Um, like, with, with these blades here. I think what we have to do... Can we... Skyflyer up? No? I'm pretty sure we should be able to actually get up on this. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit of a tricky thing, but you have to kind of like jump back a little as you go. Is there a button there? No, that's just a light. Sometimes they look like buttons, but they're not. Uh, okay, well, there is a button there that we can shoot. Let's grab our catapult and shoot it. There we go. That opens that hatchet. And before we jump down, what even hit me? I'm not sure if what actually hit me there. And we're getting knocked in. And we're getting comboed. I hate that so much about this game. There should really be better invincibility frames because this game is really bad about getting you comboed and getting you stuck in attack loops. And that's just never fun. It doesn't feel fair, right? When you just got hit and there's an animation that plays of you getting hit. And then before that animation ends, before you've had the chance to do another input you get hit already again. It, it just feels like, okay, like getting hit once makes sense, you know? I got hit, I got punished for that. that. That's fair. But it shouldn't really be that you can get comboed like you, like happens here. Okay, um, now we want to jump down into this hole. And we want to snatch you up. And I think we want to shoot this. No. Do we not want to shoot this? Huh. I guess we can't disable that. Uh, I can't really see very well. Do we want to do anything down here? I don't think so. I think that's actually all that we have to do right here for now. So let, let's exit back out. And uh, see if we can do something else in the garden in front of the castle. And as we do, uh, we'll get two UFO monkeys showing up. Oh, come on. Why are you not aiming at them? Come on, where is he? Oh, come on. Ah! I am so, so bad with this. I don't see where... He, he, we hit him. Oh yeah, he crashed. Good. We got one of them. Unfortunately, we did use up most of our rocket ammo. And that's going to make capturing this second one a lot trickier. Especially because... By the time that we're in first person to look, we'll already have been hit. Um, I actually want to go over here, get some cookies out of this before I die. Grab the cookies, Spike. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then I guess, I guess we're gonna have to try and hit him. 
with regular bullets, which is really annoying. I really hate doing that, but we didn't really have much of a choice. Luckily, we did manage to grab him without too much trouble, and that does open the double doors, so uh, yeah. We can now go inside there, which is uh, pretty cool. Let's do it. Now right inside here, there's one of those big um, jars. We can't do anything with that, of course, because, well, you guys know how those function. So we're going to have to let that go uh, instead. Oh, wow. You just hit me while I'm in the animation. We're going to go to the right here. And we're going to need our RC car. Let's go ahead and see if we can scare you off. Where did my car go? Um, can we not? Is there a wall there? Oh, there is a glass wall there. You can't really see that, to be fair. Unless you're at, like, the right angle. I don't know if my car is still alive. I hope it is. Is he on there with me now? I think he might be. Nope, he fell in the hole. Uh, this is such an annoying thing to do. I, I really... Like, I, I wish this worked better, but the car controls are already a little bit awkward as it is. But especially doing it through a wall where you can't really see yourself and the car very well at the same time. It's just... It's not ideal. Let's just say that. Like, you can't really. Like, I, I have, like, no proper control over my car here. Which way do I want it to go? Here? Oh, no. Don't. Don't drive off. Now drive off. Okay. And then we're going to wait until we're to on the other side. Yeah, this can be done a lot quicker. But it's just so painfully annoying that I tend to just take a while. But that does get us this monkey with his pool table. Which has only like a red and a white bowl. Like it's not very interesting pool, is it? If it's just a red and a white bowl. Or are there fun pool games that you do with just a red and a white pool? To be fair, I haven't played a lot of pool in my life. So I don't know if there is actually like really cool games that, and fun games that you can play with just the two. Um, okay. Well, let's go to this other side now. Oh, hey. Hello. I'll just snatch you up. And... See, there's a bunch of things in here. A bunch of UFOs. There's another door, it seems. That's closed. Okay. That's fine. I understand. Um, but we can go through here, hopefully. No, we cannot go through here either. Okay, I feel pretty dumb um but yeah you want to actually come back to the room with like the big specter where we went into that door now i want to go back and if we do that this door should simply just open up i don't know why i was having as much trouble with finding this as i was i thought i actually came here but apparently not um but there's so many doors that just seem to stay closed i don't know uh, we can hit this button. Oh, and that opens that down there. Hold on. Isn't that where I was trying to go earlier? I think it might be, actually. So I want to check now if that is indeed over here. Because we got that monkey over there. Now we can go through... That door still seems closed. But this door opened up. Okay, and that is indeed actually what I wanted. So 
I think we want to, yep, get teleported up here. And catch you. Oh, why did that not catch you? Come on, Spike, are you serious? Like, he misses so much. It is ridiculous. Like, how do you miss here? Like, how? How? That's not on me. Because, like, I hit him with my stun club. I mean, literally the same spot. Didn't move at all. And then you can't hit again. It... Ah, uh, it is frustrating. But we can get that specter coin as well. So that's good. I'm glad I could get that. And I think that's... Yeah, now if we just drop down... Yeah, we drop back down here. I think that is what we meant to do. Uh, okay. So now we want to get out the RC car, I think, and the dash hoop. Uh, we want to put you on one of these. And then stand on this one ourselves. And let's run inside here. Is there a monkey up here? Or do we... I think, I think we might actually want to go in the mouth of this monkey. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if there was anything back there. I'm always so, so bad. Because I'm like, hmm, but there might be something else. I gotta go back. Can't accidentally leave without checking everything. Okay, that looks very electric. And if we step on this... Okay, what if I drive you over to this? And then I want to look. Is the electricity gone? No, it's not. I, I'm never going to be able to see what I'm doing. You know what? Whatever. We're just going to go in the monkey's mouth, I guess. Although I do really wonder what's behind that electric. I think that's where we want to go. Oh, well. Um, okay. Let's move on, then. There's another monkey here. Let's take you guys out. I also want you and I guess maybe the flyer... There looks to be stuff down there. That doesn't look fun. Are we gonna have to do that? I think we might have to do that. Oh, okay. Up there is a monkey. Can we reach that? Oof, not like this. Not like this. Okay. Then I am afraid. Great, we might have to do that parkour stuff down there. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like we can actually get up there right now. So let's let's go down here. I think that's a teleporter just to take us back up. Okay, that just bounces us off. Oh hey, that makes us run really quickly. Oh, the monkey eyes pop out. Okay. I can't really see where we're going. Oh, come on. That... It was like one of those platforms I see now. Yep. And then we can stand on the eyes. And get over to the other side. There we go. Why did it not capture? Please, Spike. You are really, really getting on my nerves with all these whiffs. It is it is just ridiculous how much you whiff when you have no right to. Okay. That got rid of the electricity. There we go. But there's probably something in here too. Let's see. There is a monkey there. Uh, so let's grab our RC car. 
I want to see. Is there... Okay, there are multiple exits. Okay, he just shot me through the gate. Why did you turn my camera around? Game, please. Thank you. I was gonna say, if that doesn't catch when we try it four or five times, I'm gonna be a little bit miffed. But it worked out. Let's grab this cookie. Can I grab it? Yes, I can. And let's see if we can grab this cookie as well. There we go. Now I'm full on cookies again. Uh, I think that's actually all that we want to do in here. So we can probably... Um, move on. Actually... I think there might be more. There's that spectre coin there. Let's see. Yeah, there has to be more here still. Because um, we hit that switch. We got the monkey from there. Does that break? Yes, it does. Then we can get up here. And there is another one. I I need my stun club though. They also just don't stay stunned for very long. But we got him. Let's get the Spectre coin. And also the life jacket. I think now we are good here. So now we can uh, safely slide back down and leave. Pretty sure we got everything there. Um, so now what we want to do, I guess, is head past this electric gate. I guess so. Okay. Okay. So let's get out our flyer because this looks pretty vertical. There is a life waiting for us right here, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to climb this and that's going to be more platforming. So wish me luck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What just shot me? It's a big robot that I can barely see. Actually, in that case, I think... I think I might... I might want this. Um, okay, let's fall underneath here and go past. We're doing good so far. Let's get past you guys. Oh, wow! I got bounced off. That blows. Luckily, we got three lives, so basically, you can retry this section as much as you want. But. Oh, ow! Stop hurting me, you stupid robot. We really just want to avoid getting hit by those guys. Because they're, they're just going to knock you off. It's not even that they'll hurt you. But it's more so that you bounce back enough to get, like, knocked off. And that's just really bad news. Can we jump on here from here yes we can we will skip a life but i'm okay with that actually okay ah uh, i i hate those bouncy things uh, okay okay let's do it i feel like i've missed a monkey already though which is sad Because I don't want to miss monkeys. I didn't mean to do that. I died. Okay, yeah, there is a monkey. So we hadn't missed it yet. But once we get to that bouncy thing, that's when we don't want to go further. Because we want to make sure we actually catch ourselves a monkey first. So we weren't quite there yet. But we almost were. Oh, and this robot is just, just the worst. 
don't don't jump over that oh come on Oof, that almost killed me again that killed me it takes so long to get your hoop started it's frustrating because you want to just start your hoop immediately but it takes like a good few seconds and by the time you do that how do i still get hit even though i have my hoop up come on game i hate these shooting robots so much because i don't think there's really a way to kill them so you just have to deal with them shooting at you while you're trying to do platforming and that's just not not the most fun activity in the world it it uh it is quite challenging come on like i i have no chance to dodge and you immediately shoot again you you just give no time for a break okay well oh come on don't do this to me i want to i want to like you're comboing me i don't get the chance to escape here I really 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 want to get this monkey please please thank you okay we at least caught this monkey it's okay we lost the life which we will get immediately again here but I at least got past that monkey now let's see if we can reach the top of this can I just cut yeah I can I can just cut off so much time by going there. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm on this little platform. I can not dodge your attacks in any way, shape, or form while I'm on this platform. That is just nonsense that you hit me then. And he's gonna do it again. He's like, what am I supposed to do about that? I am on this little platform. I have no space whatsoever to dodge. I couldn't use my hoop because that doesn't really matter you know for dodging or anything like that that just feels really unfair if i am completely honest with you that just feels really unfair oh well we got another life so that's good we're getting hurt there though let's not get let's not get knocked off the le what oh, come on give me invincibility frames game like, this is so dumb. You just get comboed and comboed by enemies because your response time is too low to do anything. Because the by the time that your f animation of Spike getting off his lazy ass is over, you're already getting shot again. There's no time in between to give a new input to try and change your fate. It is real, real annoying in this section, especially because he predicts where you're going so dodging it is pretty much out of the question because you're just gonna have to get hit and then you're if you get hit then you're just gonna have to get comboed and if you're gonna get comboed then you're just gonna have to die and if you're just gonna have to die then yeah you get to do it over again and again and again and again and again until you want to throw the game cartridge at a random bystander who has done nothing wrong but you just want to react in frustration to something or someone and then the bystander's like why did you throw a copy of ape escape to my head and then you have to explain this whole situation and they're just gonna look at you like you're some kind of weird weird stranger who talks to people on the internet and it's this whole ordeal so you know what instead of that Let's, let, let's see if we can calm down a bit and uh, pull this off. So we're on here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. That actually worked out. Let's go over here. You, sh you missed, so I'm happy for that. We can drop down here. There's no life that respawns up here, which is a bit of a shame, but okay. We get past here and there's a monkey up here so we're gonna need we're gonna need this oh come on don't combo me here i want the monkey okay we got the monkey is there any other monkeys in here i don't think there are i think this is it so let's go ahead and get 
past here. Let's not fall off. Oh, I hate my life. Oh, come on. Okay, I have three cookies. Camera, work with me here. Camera, don't... Don't, don't do this to me now. Camera. Okay, I'm... Just gonna have to take that a little bit. So okay. We did it. We got through. I am so, so happy. Because that area is awful. Every time you fall down, you get to do everything over again. But we are past there now. Okay. Okay. 